Speaking of you as well, I want to see if I can pop this capacitor. It's open circuit, but uh, I think the charge in this big capacitor will be enough to pop what's in this little capacitor. Yeah, I think that'll pop it. Enough voltage to jump the um, open circuit gap inside this capacitor. Hopefully, this will vaporize this little capacitor. And that's one under the dishwasher. It won't pop normal means with mains on the variac, and it's not that good. It's open circuit, it won't pass current because this is a high voltage capacitor. It should be enough to jump the uh, gap inside the here, and hopefully, it should uh, blow it up. That's a bit better. Some hot glue. Clips into the anode lead that seals off. Like that. That's a better way to do it. Give it a test. Hmm, works all right. Not bad. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just charge that. I'm going to be my um, one that connects to the capacitor, so that's one to charge it. And now, now I just still use this one. And Nate and Zed are uh, set up there. Beautiful. That's all glued down. Much further away than the um, other flyback was, so I'm going to use this model to fly back from now on. This thick wire and have it further away and just glue it down there. It's a. Uh, yeah, I think I'd say that, I'm pretty sure I'd say that an Optima uh, computer monitor or something similar being a Samsung flyback because Optima monitors are, um, Optima is actually a Samsung computer brand. It's usually pretty damn common so if I should come across more of these flybacks so it wouldn't matter, hopefully uh, this new won't burn out but uh, yeah, it doesn't get as hot as the other one. Anyway, let's see what happens with this uh, we can get this capacitor to explode. Hopefully we can uh, get some results and I'll try and uh, modify this light bulb. Like that one there, make a bit of plastic separator, solder some wires to it and the one arc in there. Alright, let's blow set the capacitor up. Alright, everything's connected there, we did it go. Before we connect, let's check everything's safe. Hang on. The flyback came disconnected. Oh, flyback's reconnected. Charging. 3, 2, 1. Yeah! That was a good bang! Just what I expected. That was how you finish off an open circuit capacitor. Leave that short of out. ZVS has been de-energised. I'll let it short it out. Just as I was looking for. Um, yeah, that's all I could find. <laughs> that's all I could find. The input inner part. Look at that. Awesome. It doesn't even smell fresh. I could smell carbon. Oh, where did the rest of that go? God knows. That blew up quite nicely though. Awesome. Awesome. Remember, safety first. Short it out. ZBS isolated first. But a good habit to get into. Short your capacitor out. Then de energize. Otherwise, you could make a mistake and forget to short it out in there. That's where it gets dangerous. So always have both disconnected, not just one, both. Completely isolate it. Oh, there it is, there's the rest of it there. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's how you finish off an open circuit electric, electric capacitor. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, yeah, the label's obviously completely obliterated, but I can't find any trace of it. There we are, that's all I could find. It went boom! I like the sarcus on a light bulb here. Yeah. 
you I can't keep blowing stuff up with me just swearing that and that. I've got to make a proper containment chamber. So yeah, gotta, yeah, bus pass it up, chamber there. Short leads as possible is the best way to go. Just got to find a way to switch this thing remotely. So yeah, that's the only the only Achilles heel of this circuit. The charge this is the uh, setting this up uh, remotely, so I can switch it and disconnect it remotely. Because if I had long wires from there, the batteries to here, I get voltage drop. So yeah, I got to think of ways so I can um, remotely switch this thing. Or actually, wash machine. Uh, wash machine pressure switch. I've got one of those out of a dishwasher. It's got it's exactly the same as photons electronically. It's got one click and another stage. So I'll get a little bottle or something, a long bit of hose, and just squeeze it to turn it on. That's the way to go. So when I get some spare time, I'll uh, have to rig it up to this and have a little safe remote clicker to turn this thing on and off, not electric. That's the best way to go. Okay, have you also see if this works? Let's time to arc this light bulb out. Hopefully. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Look at that car. That's cool. Looks better in real life. I'm putting my safety glasses on. This could go bang. The heat. Oh, that's hot. Look at the blue tinge. I don't know if the cat was picking that up. Right here on this side of the bulb, it's got like a blue tinge, it looks really cool. But uh, the camera's not really picking it up as good, unfortunately. Let's get some better lighting conditions. Yeah, the envelope's not going to handle that. The envelope's going to bubble out and go bang. I'll try and block the little light here. Um, put that there. Just make us a bit of um, light blockage, there's no glare. Hold that. that, should improve things a bit. Yeah, a bit better. Epic light bulb arc though, best one I've seen. I think Ryan Boombox Deluxe is going to be happy with this one. Damn, that gets hot. Pulling about 10 amps. I was trying 18 volts. Half power, I'm pulling only 2 amps. Thirty-six volts. Hang on, I had a little stress in the glass. Yeah, the glass is um, not liking it. Hmm. I'll have to take this one outside, I think, in a little explosion chamber. Okay, is that the S I can light bulb? Should probably wait till it gets a bit darker. But yeah, uh, I just can't help myself. Dark to pop. Hang on a minute. I better wait till it gets darker here. I don't want to wreck it. Because uh, when it gets a bit darker, the glare will be down. Actually, I might think of something else here. I've got a little bit more time. Hmm. Got an idea. Alright. Arc time. The glare is not so bad now. There you go. Yeah, you got an arc in there. It's pretty you can't get eating decent bulbs anymore. I've got the safety glasses on. Interesting.
interesting. Disconnect. Check the ZBS. Oh yeah, fly that swarm. Yeah, there we go, it has a good arc. Whew, bulb's hot. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, there's a stream of hot glue on the bulb envelope there. The smell that burning off. Interesting. Yep, flyback is a little bit hot. Oh, that's a hot flyback. Six amps. Hello, viewers. Think that'll be enough for now. Pretty good little setup. I'm happy with this. Works very well. Yeah, that flyback can be about, I reckon, 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Yeah, the ferrite. Oh, yeah, I see. The ferrite's getting the hottest. Interesting. I thought there'd be enough insulation in that ferrite, so. Yeah, I think it's a frequency with the motor door that. Yeah, the ferrite's bloody hot. Yeah, that's not good. That's where the heat's coming from, that ferrite. Yeah. Just gonna find a way of heating that ferrite up so much, this will last a lot longer. But damn, I got some hot arcs in this light bulb. I was kind of being cautious in case the uh, envelope would explode and bubble out from the heat. You can see there we've got some damage. Almost melted through. That was a nice light bulb arc. It's a shame we can't get incandescence anymore. Because it's, um, it's quite fun to arc in a light bulb. You see where the glass has gotten a bit melted there. Very interesting. Anyway, I think that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.